All right, so today in this mobile minute, we're gonna demonstrate how to replace the sash balances in a single hung window. All single hung and double hung windows will have some type of device that will use to hold the window up when you raise the window up so that it doesn't just come falling down. Lots, there's a lot of different types of sash balances. This particular window uh, uses a, a, a type that is called either a block and tackle or a channel balance. And those are found on just about all new vinyl windows on the market today. So this is a very common type that you're gonna run into. So the first thing that, uh, that Daniel has done is put a tarp down under him. A tarp always needs to go under you because these things are always covered in grease. He also, you can see that he's got some silicone spray there that he's going to use to, to lubricate the new sash balances as well as the jams, just so that it gets an easy slide. And it is that silicone spray that's gonna cause the grease that, that if he doesn't protect that carpet, he would get some on it. Clips. That takeout clip is laid. Can you push it in, Daniel? That, that's where it is in its, in its normal operating position. And so now he's gonna pull it out. It will, it'll just snap out. What that does is it catches the channel balance when he raises the sash up so that it'll release the balance from the sash. So now he'll lift it up there. The balance is now released and it's gonna allow him to pull that sash out and that and the, the, the balance is gonna stay in the window. Let's go ahead and pull the, the balance out. This is the device that we're referring to, the channel balance, and he's gonna replace this. <clears throat> we'll show you in a minute how he knows what size to replace it with. But for right now, he's going to put in the new, the, the new balances, and they'll snap into the little hole in the jam. So lubricating the jam, and he's going to lubricate the balance before he puts it back in. This is the top cap that is on the corner of the, of the sash. And in addition to that being a cosmetic piece to give it a finished look, it also is what holds the, the, the balance from, and maybe you can hold that up for him, Daniel, and just show him how that, that, that that'll, that's what grabs a hold of that uh, to keep it in, within inside the sash so that you, you, don't, you don't see it. And that's what makes the thing operate. The other device was the, the takeout clip. That's what he had to open at the top of the, the jam there that would grab a hold of that sash balance in order for him to remove the sash. Two numbers, 27 is the, the, the length of the channel. The 30 is the amount of weight that this channel is designed to hold up. During the course of replacing this, we decided that 30 wasn't quite enough to hold that thing up uh, properly, and so we switched it to a 2740. We gave it a 40 pound weight uh, lift, and we felt that that did a better job of holding that sash up in any position that you decide to put it at, whether it's four inches to get a small draft or, or wide open to get, a, to get a nice, cool summer breeze. So it's going to hook into the little holes there that you can see there right at the mid rail. And then, and then grab a hold of the top clip. And that's what's going to hold it in place until he puts the new sash in. So now he'll do the other side. Okay, new balances are in place. They've been lubricated. So the next thing he's going to do on, on all of these windows, they have what's called a top cap. And the top cap, even though it looks cosmetic, it does have a function. What that does is it grabs a hold of the channel balance. And, and, and it's, it's what, what connects it to the sash. These things get cooked 
by the summer heat here in Albuquerque. And so it's, it's not uncommon that when you go to do this job that those things are, are cracked and broken. So he's going to replace them with new ones. Every brand of window will have a slightly different looking top cap. The takeout clips are pretty universal in every brand of window, but that top cap is going to be different from brand to brand. So when you go to your local glass shop or, <clears throat> or hardware store, you, you always want to take samples of every one of these parts that you're trying to buy, otherwise you're going to be turned around in just a matter of seconds and be told to come back when you have something to show. So now, now he's ready to go. He's got the new balance in, he's lubricated, he's replaced the top caps, his locks are in the open position. That's very critical. A lot of windows, if you leave those locks in the closed position, you're going to break glass putting that, that sash back in. So that's a critical part of this is that the locks are in the open position. Now he's ready to put the sash back in. So he's going to put the sash into one side of the jam or the other, just above the bottom of that new balance that he just stuck in there. And he'll center it so he grabs hold. Find there. Job is done when he when he puts those uh, those takeout clips back in so that they won't grab the balance the first time that, that the customer opens the window. Uh, make sure it's seated properly. You can pretty much tell that by the way it locks properly. And job is complete. So the now he just needs to pick up his old parts and he's been wearing booties. He has a tarp down so he knows he's gonna be able to walk away without leaving grease behind. Nice job.